This is another test of the Bell siphon with a slightly higher air cap. The air cap uh, has been extended about three quarters of an inch above the above the cap. It's a one inch cap. This is a um, a three eighths uh, quick connect with a um, half inch polyethylene tube. The top of the the top of this air cap extends, okay, now the water just fell past the top of the air cap. The water inside the air cap is continually, continuing to be sucked out, and it will soon be all sucked out, and then it'll start to suck air. Um, but the siphon continues through the bottom of the bell, where there's a half inch so, um, a square tooth uh, cutouts on the bottom. Okay, it should break right about here. Now that was well above the top of those uh, square tooth cutouts in the bottom of the of the uh, bell. There's the there's the cutouts. In fact, there's a just a big long area so there's very little restriction for for water to go in and there's very little restriction here because I've used a two inch pipe uh, down to a um, two by one adapter and uh, so there's it gives me maximum flow here but there is how that was arranged Find a nice area for you to see that. And uh, lay this down a second. I'll show you where it it basically. Yeah, it's hard. It basically came to about halfway down this down this cap. So it was still well above the top of those. Uh, passages at the bottom of the bell. I think this continues to prove that this is definitely a a good way to do your um, to your to do your bell siphons. Uh, I built so many bell siphons and. I had two that worked just flawlessly for over a week and then I'd come out one morning and it wouldn't be it wouldn't be breaking the interesting thing that would happen sometimes is it would begin to break and then there would be a a status quo of the the siphon was broken but it was just slowed down it wasn't wasn't completely broken it was just slowed down to where it equaled the amount of water coming into the system and it would just stick sit there forever so yeah i think this is a good solution i'll talk to you later <laughs>